Referee speaking to both fighters as round three is about to begin. And you get the feeling that Stapel is going to have to finish it somehow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that's what Peter Anger in his corner has told him. You know, uh, I don't think you can see it any other way than, than two rounds to winner and he needs a finish. Yeah, Stapel open mouth there as well. Not a good sign. But by the same token, I don't think I don't think winner's going to be satisfied with beating out another decision. He wants to finish still. Yeah. The crowd getting slightly frustrated, but I can't see why. I mean, it's certainly not a boring fight, very tactical maybe. But you do get the sense that something, something inside winner wants to explode and, and go for the kill in, in, in his fights, but... Yeah, there always seems not to happening. be a little something that, that stops him just going crazy and blitzkrieging people. But he's winning, you know, this will, That's you know, right. three in a row, so... That's right, in none of these fights, it, He's had lately. He's, he's never seemed in any real trouble of being stopped or even or even nearly stopped. You know, he seems quite content to stand and trade with Starpol. And this will, you know, if winner can go to distance, it will be an impressive win. Starpol went five rounds of Alexandra Zidro, the Cage Warriors lightweight champ. That's right. Five infamous rounds. Yeah. Um, and if you look through his record, he's only ever lost. To a quality opposition. Yeah, he's only ever lost to the top, top guys. Dwayne Ludwig, Thomas Hooter, Sabahino. There will be a real winner, winner hurts Starpool there. Starpool walks away. Make no mistake, at lightweight, this this is a real scalp for anyone. Mario Staple is a big name. At least in Europe. That's winner, right. now, winner now looking to maybe let go a little bit more of his hands. This really announces you. You know, beating Mario Staple really announces you on the European stage, at yeah. least. Floor Staple. Stop, Staple looking to uh, butt scoot now. Nice butt, butt scoot axe kick to the feet something, something you don't see in the UK too often. But, um, Staple opens out with some hands. Catches uh, Winner with one, two, tries to go for a knee in the midsection. Winner catches him. Winner's back against the fence. But again, he looks so strong in this either in a clinch or an underhook position. Yeah. Deceptively strong. See Starpool trying to control a hand there. Perhaps look for the takedown when the circle's off. But, you know, Starpool still looks quite calm. He's not breathing hard. But, you know, when you're a 22 fight veteran yeah. and you fought, like I said, in Shuto Japan, you don't fight in Shuto Japan if you don't know the basics. That's you right. know, um, king of the cage, European Ballet Tudo, the list goes on. He's no noob. Winner again now, to the body. Starpool tries to pull guard, flying guard. But now Starpool's got to do something crazy because he knows he's not winning the stand-up. Yeah. But, you know, Winner's not succumbing to it. Winner's not um, allowing himself to be drawn into this quite calmly, sitting there well, we've just seen dropping this. elbows. We've seen this in a few of Winner's fights. His opponent, frustrated that he can't take him down, has John God into a flying guard and Winner's just held him there and hit him in the face. Starpool bleeding again from the eye. But Winner calm. Methodical. <laughs> I mean, it is the way. I mean, yeah, he's so comfortable in this clinch position. It, it's so hard to take him down for it. I mean, I don't think, I think sometimes Winner doesn't get enough credit for the way he makes fight his fight. His fight. Yeah. He's been in there against some good guys. Yeah, he has stuffed a lot of people's game plans. You know, they, they come in, he's got fast, fast hands. Yeah. His ground game, we haven't seen a lot of him off his back, to be honest, because no one's really put him there. Yeah, so and, and, and he does seem to have learned from his loss to Greg Lockhart early on in the year at Cage Warriors. Um, you know, he, he is a different fighter. Starpool lands a knee, but we're not overly troubled. No, you just get the sense that Starpool's throwing this at him, but it, it's not going to finish the fight, and that's what he needs. Uh, Starpool hunting low for a takedown. Yeah, I mean, just drags him back up. Credit to Mario Starpool. He hasn't stopped trying. No, he's um, he, you know, he's looked to try and get the advantage in all in all ranges. But winner just standing there firm. Nice, nice dirty boxing again. There's those uppercuts and those elbows. Yeah, improved dirty boxing by winner. You think it was the elbows that perhaps caused all these cuts? I would imagine so. I mean. Particularly that one above his left eye, from that right elbow, I think. Indeed. Winner, again, just 
Look at that, suddenly explodes. Yeah, all of a sudden it's... An uppercut there. And the round's over, the fight's over. And um, Andre Wiener surely retains his title. Must be. I and gives the UK a 2-1 win over Germany. I in can't his, see any other way. Yep. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause for these world title fighters. Okay, can we have both fighters to the centre of the page, please? We go to our judges' scorecards, and we have the unanimous decision. All three judges score the fight 30-27 in favour of your winner. And still, the FX3 lightweight champion of the world, Andre, the winner. Well, let's have a round of applause for a fantastic competitor. Let's hear it for the challenger. Mario Staples!